welcome to Arts Westchester's virtual art workshops. My name is Susan Rowe Harrison and I am an Arts Westchester teaching artist and I make murals with paint and hand cut vinyl. Sometimes I like to make small drawings with ink on paper. In this project we will use a newspaper to make our own fake news. The project is one part doodle, one part storytelling and one part zine. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a newspaper, a catalog, a magazine, a flyer from the supermarket, uh, paper, shopping bags, anything that has a pattern, colors, images, photos, um, text, words, printed words that, that you find interesting and that you might want to play around with in, in, in an artwork. Um, you'll need a black sharpie or black felt tip marker. If you have a set of markers, fantastic. If you have gel pens, fantastic. Um, you could use paint if you have that. Um, I would say the paint that works the best would be acrylic, gouache, or poster paint. Something that's fairly thick that will cover the paper. Um, you'll definitely need a pair of scissors. You will need a glue stick. You could, instead of scissors, you could use an X-Acto knife on a self-healing mat or a piece of cardboard um, so you don't ruin the furniture. Um, nice things to have, a pencil and a ruler or a straight edge if you want to get really straight edges. Um, so let's gather our materials and get started. Okay, so now I've got the background around the text colored in and the area behind her helmet. So that really emphasizes what the helmet and knocked out of orbit. But I still think it needs a little more. Like I think the spacey COVID gear hits the street, gets a little lost. And I think I'm just gonna play around with an abstract design. So. I think I'm just going to doodle a bit and see where it takes me. Um, so here we go. Hi everybody, I'm back with another fake news project. So um, I have a few things that I put together. I made, I, I was looking through the paper and I chose two different pages. This one is about uh, the coronavirus vaccine needing to use um, shark's liver oil, which comes from a shark's liver and um, whether or not they can make a synthetic version or whether they would have to kill hundreds of thousands of sharks um, to make the coronavirus vaccine. So for me, that was, that was pretty interesting. And then this 
part of another newspaper I thought was pretty um, visually interesting. So it's a photograph of an office building with just one light on. I may, I may cover that up, but I thought the stripes were, were pretty cool. And I don't know why it reminded me of water. So um, I made photocopies of, of both. And I didn't worry, I really, I really just wanted to, you know, have a photocopy of the shark. Um, I'm going to use the headline, but for this, this part of it, I just really wanted to play around with the images. So this is, these are the parts that I, that I cut out. I know it's not exactly the same as the page, um, because that's more in the middle, but I came up with my idea which is I first cut this out and I was gonna play around with the sharks, but I decided I w when I was thinking about the headline, vaccine may take toll on sharks, that maybe I would play with that headline. And so at first I was gonna make this like a highway, like, cause I was thinking about paying a toll. And then I thought the stripes could be a road, but then I was thinking after I cut them out, just playing around, I'm gonna use a smaller one because they may cut it down. I was thinking that it might be more powerful to cut the shark out and show the absence of the shark under the headline, vaccine may take a toll on sharks. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I first made photocopies. You can do that if you want, you don't have to. Um, I just like to do that because sometimes I get an idea and I go through it and I don't like it. So I decided to make photocopies and play around with the photocopies. So there's my idea. And I'm going to start by cutting out this building. So I'm not gonna worry about the rest of the pages. I'm just gonna go in with my scissors and cut out the stripes from the building. Once we have this, this cut out, then we'll play around with it on the page that I want to alter. Okay, so let's move this to the side. And so I think what we'll do is I'm gonna get a little bit fancy and I'm gonna use my, my exacto knife to cut this out. So I'm gonna put it on my um, self-healing mat. If you don't have one of those, make sure you use a piece of cardboard. Um, okay, now, oh, now I'm gonna cut this out. Just make a little mark there. And just be very careful. Go across to the corner. And that way we can keep all the text about the sharks, but we can just play around with replacing it. Don't want to use that, so you could use it vertically. 
So let's play around with it. So we could use it vertically behind that and just cut out the sharks. Hmm. Okay, so this is what it would be without the sharks. So probably, I think I like that. So we're going to fill up the whole page, or the whole, not the whole page, but this whole rectangle that will be the shark. Um, how is that going to work? Yeah, yeah, so the background will fill up the whole, that whole spot. I guess I should have just cut this out, um, left it in the paper. So we'll cut this out and then this paper will come through. So you can see here. Um, and then we can play around with it whether we want it horizontally or vertically. So had I left the paper together, I would have just cut out the sharks and then you could see the stripes through it. So that makes it kind of emphasizes that the sharks are missing. Um, but that, that's okay. We can, with our glue stick, we can, we can fix this. Um, let's try it horizontally. We can see if we like it horizontally better. So that's kind of like an American flag. Wrong colors, but kind of flaggy looking. So let's try, see if we like it better that way. Hmm, yeah, so I think I'm gonna wait and decide at the end. So let's take our shark, save that. And I'll put this to the side and we can just cut out the sharks. Now when I did this on the photocopy, I thought it was easier to go around the drawing with a pencil. One, because sometimes I space out and make mistakes. And two, sometimes the edges are not very defined if the tones are close. And they are in some cases on this. So we don't really have to worry so much about the shark, but we just wanna get the shape because we wanna show the threat to the sharks. So go around that. And as always, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna take this as one unit because they're pretty close together. Um, so I don't think it's really like worth the time to take each one apart separately. Like we'll take it, cut it out as one, one piece. Yes, there are some very faint ones in the background and we'll decide whether or not we want to include those. It looks like it's a shark going down and then there's one here. Kind of hard to see. So if you left those, I don't think that it would really matter. I'm going to try to take these guys because they're easier to see. So I'll make sure to cut these guys out. And then we have this negative space. That's, it'll be uh, much easier if we use an X-Acto knife. So I'm just quickly outlining this. So I make sure to pay attention to where I need to cut out. Okay, so I think I may ignore those in the background and I'm just gonna cut this out. If I need to, I can go back and cut them out, but for now, I think I'm just gonna pretend like they're not there. So I'll just cut up on this fin and I'll go in and erase those afterwards if I don't wanna cut them out. to cut out, you probably need to change the blade and the exacto knife. You can also use scissors. Um, maybe I'll finish this off with scissors so um, I can show you how to get into tight 
spaces. Actually, you know what? I think scissors are not gonna work if we wanna use the open space. It's not going to work to erase it. Maybe I'll just soften it by rubbing it in. whether or not we want to put this back into the newspaper or whether we want to uh, make a new newspaper using the sharks on the stripes and then add the headline to it. choose papers that you know speak to you in some way I'm interested in environmental things so this one was um, interesting to me I wonder what would happen if you use the back they look less like a shark sometimes the back is really cool so we could use that too you know it doesn't say the same thing so it just depends on if you want to play around with something graphic um, looks pretty cool or if we wanted to use if we wanted to use the vaccine takes a toll let's see if I can I'll use my photocopy and I'll take out part of it part of the headline so we can play around with that So neat. I didn't even notice that before. I guess when you do a photocopy, you don't really get to see the back of it. So we can take this headline and try it out on our paper. So we can either do it this way and hide that. Actually, it might be more effective if we do it like this. And then vaccine may take a toll, so we could create a new newspaper like that, or a zine page, or we could do the opposite and leave the headlines in the page, put in our stripes. do it that way. So I kind of like that. Okay, so how would we do that? We would, we're going to have to um, glue the shark background onto the stripes. So we want that to kind of stay here in, in this place. So let's, let's flip this back. few minutes to move stuff around. So let's, let's open it up. Let's put our glue stick. Let's put our glue stick around this opening. And we were gonna use this side. I'm 
just gonna wing it here. So I think the blue kind of goes toward the middle. I think that's about there. So we'll just glue that. cut that. You can trim down the inside later. We just want to get it set up so we can, you know, we may even want to glue the two pages together. It's a little bit loose right there, so let's put some more glue right there. And some along this edge. You can also use just school glue if you have school glue. Okay, so now we have that in place and we can glue in our image. So I'm gonna do that on my mat in case I, oh, I just ripped it. Be careful. It's gonna be okay because I'm just gonna glue it in. So if you rip it, that is okay. You're just gonna have to be careful. And just make sure that you kind of hold it as you're putting the glue down. It's really easy to rip, especially newspaper, which is kind of thin. Um, whoops. Probably easier just to dab it like that. Okay, so now we're gonna put that in the box. So it is ripped, so we have to be a little more careful. And we just put that in the area where we cut out. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal where it's ripped. And if we need more glue, we can use more glue. It looks like we will need more glue. I think the most important part is getting the edges that we cut out that are really fine. I just want to be careful. So I'm holding that down with my thumb, putting the glue on, and then we'll just stick it into place. And then you can see on that side, it might be easier just to put glue on the stripe part. So we'll do that. And I think we'll need to go inside and glue it loose, so let's put it on the straight part. Actually, I think school glue might be a little easier because you can control it a little bit better, but glue sticks are always, always handy and not so messy. Right. So that's our project. As you can see, it doesn't take much to make some art and have some fun. I would love to see what you came up with. Share your work to the hashtag AWTeenTuesdays and check out the other classes at artsw.org.